Many injured as thugs attack Philip Shaibu's convoy in Benin. So Philip Shaibu and Mondeo Pueblo were attacked at the Benin airport when they just arrived from Abuja together. Hmm. This is serious. So this uh, issue of Philip Shaibu defecting from uh, PDP to APC and also winning some court cases against the deputy governor, against the governor of the state and the state has of assembly um, he, he he actually needed to be reinstated according to the last judgment that the federal high court abuja under james omotosho gave in favor of shaibu um you know cancelling out or striking out his impeachment by the state House of assembly and ordering its immediate uh, reinstatement and I know that Philip Shaibu also collapsed his structure to support Mondo Pueblo. So he is obviously in an anti-party activity, still in PDP, not defected, but working for APC. Just like Mweke is doing in River State and in Abuja. So let's dive into the detail to see exactly um, how this incident happened in Benin. Many people were reportedly injured as armed thugs opened fire on the convoy of Senator Monday Pueblo, the All Progressive Congress APC governorship candidate, and Philip Shaibu, the former deputy governor of Edo State, at the Benin Airport on Thursday. Oh boy. So the incident occurred around 2 p.m. in the afternoon as the duo arrived from Abuja aboard a chartered private jet. Eyewitnesses reported that the unknown gunman traveling in a Toyota Sierra, positioned themselves at the airport's exit, that is the exit gate, and unleashed bullets on the convoy carrying of Pueblo and Shaibu. So in reaction, the security details attached to the APC candidate and uh, Shaibu retaliated with gunfire. So reports have it that businesses in the area hastily closed and drivers abandoned their vehicles to escape the crossfire and that is it so the situation was however brought under control by the timely intervention of the nigerian police mobile squad who fired shots that forced the attackers to flee in their vehicles so this incident comes on the heels of a federal high court ruling in abuja which reinstated shaibu as the deputy governor and ordered inspector general police to restore his, uh, uh, to restore his security details. So the court's decision nullified Shaibu's impeachment by the Edo State House of Assembly. Yes. So meanwhile, men from the Edo State Security Network took over the office of the uh, state's deputy governor, Marvelous Omobayo, located at uh, Osadebe Avenue in the government reservation area. That is Jaru. Earlier, Shaibu had instructed a large crowd of youth to join this convoy to the office. Oh boy, battle don't start to. So the issue here is that uh, I'm sure Shaibu is preparing to go back to that office. He's, he's poised to resume back and uh, remain there till the end of his tenure. But the issue here is, like I said earlier in my previous analysis, Obasaki is not ready to reinstate that guy, and they already came out to say that uh, Marvelous Godwin is still the deputy governor, the authentic deputy governor of Edo State, and Marvelous Godwin will continue to be there until they have addressed their appeal, because the Edo State government, uh, that is in conjunction with the executive and legislators, have filed an appeal against that judgment in the appeal court. So I'm sure with this restatement looming, <laughs> attackers have started. If they go, they say if uh, an owl cries at night at the back of a house and in the morning a baby dies in that house, who killed the baby? <laughs> the owl will explain. That is it. So the thing here is that with what is happening between Shaibu and uh, Basaki, it is obvious that it's getting dirtier. So why the attack? Does it mean they wanted to clean them up so that they can have their way? 
I don't understand why that happened. I'm telling you the truth. I think IG need to wade into that matter and investigate that kind of matter and uh, bring the perpetrators to book because somebody, I'm sure, I'm waiting for Shaibu to make comment on this because definitely they will know who is involved. So let me see in the comment section, uh, somebody saying, hmm, Obasaki is playing with fire. Hundreds of your thugs cannot stop Shaibu from resuming to the office. Hey, not be smart, you know. And Shaibu himself, Naim be the Baba of thugs. The guy knows how to put himself together. And Shaibu, though Shaibu is the government, is, is government himself with the instruments of government in his, in his disposition. But this is war. That is what I say here. And uh, somebody say, whoever that is supporting Obasaki against Shaibu is a criminal. Obasaki, Obasaki, Obasaki. You will soon die a shameful death to November is at hand. Can you imagine? Obasaki should be called to order. I'm telling you, Obasaki's name is the person they are calling here in this matter. Why are you getting, going to this extent? I don't know other ways this can be done. Why are you going to this level? Obasaki the destroyer. They are, give, they are already calling his name here. Don't you have phone to call him in order? Have you? Call your Shaibu to order. There is appeal and still of execution to the order of the court. Yes. Some say you are you're a little criminal, but your destiny has been used for ritual. Can you imagine? Obasaki the destroyer that see you know calling Obasaki out in this game. The rumor going around that Obasaki's Obasaki recruited six thousand thugs within a do delta state equipped with rifles for the election day is true for sure Adegboye should not tell the world he could not trace the thugs if it will amount to conspiracy uh it will amount to conspiracy and negligence too he must be transferred with query can you imagine okay that is, is that the commission of police for sure the boy oh boy the man philip is shameless okay <laughs> this is between philip and uh obasaki camp now apc should campaign and stop distraction if at all there was an attack as alleged then it was staged obviously the scenario fits the trademark of philip shaiwo i remember those days of Oshomole. philip don't act this same skit before can you imagine uh, you see your country the same people should say nigeria is a bad country they are not happy that you won in the court. Hmm. Immediately, Obasaki finished his tenor. He must be arrested. The man is wicked and selfish. Can you imagine? This thing not gives you who are the higher thugs, who are the wounded. These are the very poor in the society suffering hunger and frustration, killing themselves for their oppression, oppressors in power. What a shame to the Nigerian youth and uh, we thought that by now they would have known better and join hands and push these politician criminals out of the way and unite to vote in men of integrity character and content after them their children will come back from abroad and rule over you not be lie they are already positioning their children for to take over from from them so that is exactly what had happened in uh, Bini Airport yesterday. And uh, they are already, people are already fingering Obaseki in that incident. And some are even saying that Philip, Philip Shaibu can act more than that. Only God knows where that in uh, incident came from. So thank you for listening and let's have a comment.